Namaste. In this video, we will look at how to union data from multiple tables. And unioning is basically appending rows from one table below the other table. Okay. So, for example, if I have this kind of a data set where I have statistics of four different cricket players, how many matches they played, runs they scored, and wickets they took in a particular year. So, this is for 2015, 2016, and 2017. So, I do not want them to be in, in different tables. I just want to append the rows one below the other. Okay, so I just want one single data source. So now how does appending work? Well, it is basically just matching the column names. And if it finds matching column names, for example, name matches runs and wickets. So in this, if it finds the same matching columns, then it will append the rows, these four rows below this statistics 2015 row. Okay, so this is how it will do it. So, so now let us see how to do it in Tableau. I'll first connect to my data source, which is the data 15 to 17. Okay, so once I've connected, now I can just drag this new union into the empty canvas area. Now I have two options to manually specify the tables or to do it in automatic way. We'll look over automatic in, a, in, in just a moment. Now in the manual way, I can just select all the tables that I want to union together. So I'll select these three. And I'll just drag them into this area. And now I have these three tables. If I click OK, you see now all of the names have been in just one single column. And I have these four rows for the 2015, 2016, and these four for 2017. Okay, so all of these have been appended together. And Tableau has automatically added these two columns just to uh, tell us from where are these rows coming from okay so this can be useful in multiple ways and we'll see that in a moment as well now imagine we have another data for 2018 to 2020 okay i have this data as well and i want to append these rows as well to the existing data so how can i do it well it is also simple what i'll do is i'll first remove this union or i can also simply click on this drop down and click edit union and do it from there as well but i'll just remove this and I'll do a new one first, but first I'll have to connect to a data source. Okay. So I will just drag this new union here and I'll select wildcard automatic. And this is now going to look in C users, such as Tableau and unions. Okay. So it will look in this unions folder, which is currently this particular folder, this unions folder. So it is because I've connected to this data source, this uh, location is the default location. Okay. Now I want uh, tableau to take all of those worksheets or the workbooks whose names start with the word of data and which have the table names if i show the table names the table names are 2015 uh, stats 2015 stats 2016 stats 2017 okay so the name of the tables start with stats so in the 2018 to 20 data as well if i check the uh, names of the tables are 2018 19 and 20 Okay, and the name of the columns are the same as for the 15 to 17 data. So this makes my life a little bit easier. So now I'll say which workbooks to include or exclude. So I'll say include all of those workbooks. I'll just remove this and I'll say data and asterisk mark. So what it means is it will look for all the workbooks whose name start with data. And after that, it can have any number of characters. So that is a matching pattern that it will try to search and which sheets to include in these workbooks? Well, I have currently only the three tables which I want, but your data source can be elaborate, your workbook can be elaborate, it can have hundreds of tables, hundreds of sheets, but I do not want to union all of those hundred sheets. I want only those sheets which have the word stats in them. Okay, so I know that what those tables have, if they have the word stats. Okay, so what I'll do is I'll say include all those sheets in those workbooks whose name start with stats okay so once i click okay now these two boxes are unchecked by default and we'll just keep it that way for now if i click apply i now have 24 records because 12 records were for 2018 19 and 20 4 and 2 3 12 and 12 records for 2015 to 17 if i just show you here see 2015 16 17 18 19 20 so I have records for all of these six years now, and this is telling me the path from where the table was found. Okay. 
So this is now I have now appended all of those six tables. Now just assume I have another archived folder which is in the subfolder, and I have this data twelve to fourteen. So I have data for these four players for the year twenty twelve to twenty fourteen as well, and I want to append these rows as well. Okay, so these are the four same players. These can be different players as well. They do not need to be the same players. But what is important is to have matching column names so that Tableau can append one below the other. So here we see name matches, runs scored, and wickets. You see this, this is runs scored and not runs because in other tables we had runs here. So this will do a column mismatch and let us see what happens. So how to do that? Well, I can just click here, edit union, and here in this wildcard automatic. I'll just say expand search to subfolders. So what this will do is currently it is in this folder unions, but if I say expand search to subfolders, it will uh, look for any subfolder within this unions folder. It finds one and it will look for all the workbooks within this subfolder whose names start with data and whose sheet names start with stats. Okay, so this is what we have told here to to Tableau to do. Okay, and expand search to subfolders. If I click OK, aha, you see, it has successfully imported all those 12 rows as well for stats 12 to 14. If I come down here, it has stats 12 to 14 as well now. Okay, so I have data from all the tables that I want, but there's a problem as I said before. I have a runs column and I have a runs scored column. So for stats 2015 to 20, the column name was runs. So I have data for runs and not for runs scored. But for stats 2012 to 14, I have data for runs code, but not for runs. But I know that internally, both of these are doing the same thing. And both of these columns are same basically. So I'll just select both of these tables by pressing control and selecting these two rows. And I'll just click the drop down of any of those columns. And I'll say merge mismatched fields. Okay, so I can come here as well, click here and click on merge mismatched fields. And what this will do is, it will automatically understand that both of these columns are the same. So now I have just one column and the data has been merged. Okay. And now I can simply just rename this to runs. Wonderful. So this is how we can union multiple tables in a complex fashion. If the sheets are present in different locations. Now what I can do is I can come to sheet one and I can now see which player scored the most number of runs across all the years. Okay, So I'll just bring name here and I'll bring runs here. And now I see that Mark has scored the most number of runs, 3744. Okay. Now I can also segregate this data by a sheet basis. Sheet is basically the table basis. So I know that in 2012, Andy scored this much runs and for all the players, I know how many runs they scored in each year. So this is the use of having the sheet name as another column. So this is how we can union multiple data. Now I'll just open this logical layer and come into the physical layer. By the way, I, this is happening because I'm using Tableau version 2020.3. So if you are on any version which is lower than Tableau version 2020.2, you won't have this logical layer. You only have this physical layer. Okay. Now I'll just open and edit union. And I'll say, if I say expand search to parent folder, what this will do is it will look for C users such as and Tableau. So Basically, this was our default folder, right? C users such as and Tableau unions. So if I say expand search to subfolders or uh, to parent folder, it will also come to this Tableau folder and it will look for all the workbooks which have the which have which start with data and which whose sheets include start with the name of stats. Okay, so I can do that as well. If I can go into subfolder, I can also go into the parent folder. And if I select both of these at the same time expand search to subfolders and parent folder then it after coming into the parent folder it will also look for any subfolder if it has any and if it has any it will go into the subfolder and it will look for all the workbooks which whose name start with data and whose sheet name starts with stats okay so this is all about the unions